Perfect scrambled eggs. So many times I go to hotels, restaurants, wherever it is you go and get your breakfast, and you get dried up cardboard like, uh, what's that stuff called? Sand dust? Sawdust? Sawdust. <laughs> sand dust. Dried up sand dust um, as scrambled eggs. Really, really terrible. People seem to really cook the crap out of them for some reason. And I don't, yeah, exactly. And it comes out and like you could slap the eggs off the... Off the uh, it's always egg. cold as well. That's the other problem. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, I want to show you, like the poached egg, just how simple it is, right? So three eggs in there. Little pot. Now, to make it sort of nice and A, tasty, B, nice and sort of moist and succulent, a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk. If you want it to be sort of doubly luxurious and it's the weekend and you wanted a treat, maybe add a little double cream in there because that'll make them even nicer. But we're staying a little bit healthy today. So bring that butter and milk up to the boil. That's what's called an emulsion. So those two are going to sort of form the base of our scrambled eggs and that's what's going to give it that little bit of moisture and stop it from drying up into sawdust. Um, right, that's starting to come together. Can you see that in there? It's just starting to come to the boil. How good do the pizza smell? Pretty good. So Aaron's going to be in charge of tasting the scrambled eggs and we're all going to have the pizza. Yeah, that's what the deal was. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants the scrambled eggs. Okay, so start just whisking those together. Now the important thing is, I'm getting rid of the whisk at this stage and I'm going to change over to a spatula. Reason I'm doing that is because when you whisk the eggs, what happens is you sort of break down all the little stuff in there, <laughs> in a real technical term. You break down all the, the parts of the egg and you end up with those sort of like really dry little eggs. So we're gonna use a, a spatula and just sort of fold them together. Nice low, medium temperature and just constantly stirring. Now the key here is I'm gonna get some heat into them. So up they come to the heat and then I'm just gonna pull them off and stir them again. And what that does is the eggs will cook really, really fast. If they cook too fast, they'll dry out as well. So just on the heat, let them come together for about 10, 15 seconds. And you can see them starting to cook already. And then off the heat. Just on the heat. And then we'll take them off. And the key is taking the eggs off at the right time. If you leave them on too long, they're gonna keep cooking. Even after it's, it looks like they're ready, they'll just keep cooking because there's so much heat in there and that's how they'll overcook. So off again. This is like a, literally a 90 second process. You wanna have your plate ready to serve them and you'll have noticed also that I haven't seasoned the eggs yet. Reason for that is um, the sort of salt will break the eggs down and not give them a very nice texture so we want to season with salt at the very very end. So eggs starting to come together and you can see that they're just starting to solidify now. See the way that's real runny in there Rob? That's the moment that you want to take them off the heat right? Doesn't look like they're cooked in any way, still like blobby but I guarantee you there's enough heat left in there to cook those. So at this stage a little bit of salt, not too much salt, because it's very easy to over season the eggs. And then a last little swoosh around into our nice bowl. And you can see that lovely consistency that they are. They're not in any way dried out. They're really nice and sort of uh, perfect texture that's got a nice little bite in them. They're just cooked, but not too runny. A little bit of parsley on top to make them look pretty. And that is how you cook the perfect scrambled eggs. Rob, try those. See what you think. Not, uh, not overcooked in any way. Build yourself up there, Rob. This is part of the deal. I get pizza. Mm. How do those taste? You can really taste the butter, actually. It's lovely. Yeah. Not dry in any way, are they? Good. So that's how you cook perfect scrambled eggs. <laughs>